Divine One, before you proceed to battle, allow me to assist you with any preparations. I appreciate that, Nell. I'm actually all set, but it'd be great if you could check on the others. I see. <sighs> What's wrong? Apologies. My offer of assistance was merely an excuse to be near you. I am... concerned. Talk to me. Maybe I can help. Not only have I seen you endure battle after battle, but now you have faced death itself. This war has no doubt taken its toll upon your body and mind. Tell me how you are feeling. I'm okay. Really. I'm as tired as you'd expect, but it hasn't slowed me down too much. Overall, if anything, I'm feeling stronger than I've ever felt before. That's not just me being the 13th emblem. It's thanks to my friends. Especially you. If I did not know better, I would attribute your remarkable strength to divine dragon blood. Imagine my surprise when I learned that you were actually born a fell dragon child. That said, though we are not family, we share a heritage. And I am glad for that. I'm flattered to hear you say so. It is my intention to remain by your side for as long as I can. Even after the fighting is done. It is my wish to remain your companion, and to bear witness to the world of peace you create. There's no one I'd rather have by my side for that. I can't imagine my life without you, Nell. That's why I've been wanting to give you this. Divine One, is this... The Pact Ring. I'd like it to be a symbol of our shared future. Will you accept? <laughs> If you'd said you thought of me as the same person you once knew, I wouldn't feel this way. But you said that you only see me, this version of me, here and now. I'll never be a substitute for the divine dragon you used to know. But as my own person, I can love you just as much. I hope you feel the same. I do, Divine One. And I am deeply moved by your words. Forgive me. This is not an occasion for tears. But as you can see, I am smiling, and I will gladly accept this ring. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. Now that the pact is sealed, allow me to express my feelings to you without reservation. My fondness for you grows each and every day. I love you. Thanks for giving me a hand with the supplies. I couldn't have done all that without you. I had some spare time. Think nothing of it. It wasn't nothing, though. You did almost all the heavy lifting. I should make it up to you. Oh, I know! How about I brew you a nice cup of tea later? Your gentle demeanor perplexes me. How can you be so caring in the middle of a bitter war? I was shocked to learn that you are a fell dragon in this world. If you had been born one of my siblings, your disposition would have led you to a quick death. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. These are not my feelings. These are facts. You are helpful to a fault, heedless of your own burdens, and recklessly curious. In short, a fool. You seem to kind of enjoy spending your time around fools lately. You journeyed from another world to risk your life for a fool, who's very grateful, incidentally. Say what you like. I will. Because even if you'd never admit it, I know that you listen and you care. I see that clearly now. <laughs> but you said actions express gratitude better than words, Rafal. And you were right. I've been thinking about it for a while now. And I've decided I want you to have this. <laughs> is that what I think it is? It's the pact ring. A symbol of a deep and special bond. A partnership. I may possess superficial charm, but giving this to me would be foolish, even by your standard. Moreover, it would be wrong. I have done nothing to earn such an honor. Any partner of yours should be more... pure. I'm a fell dragon just like you, remember? You said so yourself. I fought on Sombron's side once, too. I'm every bit as impure as you are. Even so... You're the one I want to give this to, Rafal. You and nobody else. You're already an indispensable part of my life. 
I'm only asking you to continue to be that. <sighs> when you put it that way, it seems I have little choice. <laughs> Who else will keep an eye on you? Very well. You have my word. I will remain by your side, fighting for your cause, until the end. Even if the rest of the world should turn against you, I will be here. I swear it. Thank you. That means a great deal to me. I will only say this once, so mark me well. You said that you wanted me to be happy. When I first came here, I was content merely to embark upon a new life, as a new person. But the more time I spend with you, the more I miss you when you are absent. So, in return for my oath, I would like you to swear something to me. Swear that you will never leave my side. That we will explore what the future holds together. Hi, Gregory. Is something the matter? I'm just grateful that you've returned to us safely. It's a little strange, but I've been worrying about you dying. Oh. It's because I put myself in danger, isn't it? Not really. Sorry, this may be a bit rambling, but I'll try to explain. When I heard that you were related to the Fell Dragon, something just clicked. I was scared of you when we first met. I thought that's what this new fear was. Were you frightened because you learned I'm the Fell Dragon's child? Not at all. Honestly, I was relieved. You were? Why? I guess it made me feel better to know that you weren't the same as our Divine Dragon. On the one hand, the two of you being the same would make you worthy of my trust. But on the other hand, it'd have made me worry constantly about you dying. Now though, even knowing you're different, I still worry about it. Why do I feel like this? You truly fear for my safety. I'm embarrassed to admit that I don't really grasp this love thing everyone talks about. But if love is finding someone so important that you're terrified of losing them, then maybe... I... I want to be by your side, protecting you. Now and always. And so... I, I was wondering... Wondering if I could... Perhaps... Become the Divine Dragon's partner. <sighs> I mean, if that sounds terrible, just say so. <laughs> That's not terrible at all. I'm so happy to hear you feel that way. If you want this, as I do, then I'd like you to have the Pact Ring. Divine One. <laughs> I had planned on telling you that you're important to me, but you beat me to it. I want to become strong enough to put even your worried heart at ease. Together. I look forward to growing strong together. I was afraid you'd turn me down, but I'm glad I was brave and brought this up. <laughs> Even if that is out of character for me, I'll treasure this ring forever. It's proof of the bond we share. This feeling, it's so intense that it hurts, but I don't mind it. With you, nothing could hurt me. Um, thank you for the food. You're welcome. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yes. Celestia, what's wrong? You don't seem like yourself today. I'm just feeling a little anxious. Why? Did something happen? I'm afraid these moments of happiness won't last. That the war will only grow more violent. What if, starting tomorrow, we can't enjoy spending time like this anymore? Or... If you or I don't come back safely, these meals have become a daily source of happiness for me. But will there be a next one? I had no idea you were holding on to this anxiety. I never thought the time I spend with you, Divine One, would bring me such joy and fear. War always requires sacrifice. I know this when I'm standing on the battlefield. And yet, I don't know how I'd cope if I lost another person dear to me. I had friends in my other world who I thought would be with me forever. Now they're gone. I understand. Especially after having to leave your own world behind. It will take more than just having fun and making friends to heal those lingering wounds. I'm sorry to have made you worry. Oh, 
You don't owe me an apology, Divine One. I managed to get worked up all on my own. I care about you, and I don't want you to ever feel this way again. So, I'm giving you the Pact Ring. <sighs> you mustn't. The Pact Ring is far too precious. I was planning to give it to you eventually, as a pledge that our time together will last. We're close like family now, right? And families share meals. So let's continue eating together. Tomorrow, the next day, for as long as we live. Thank you, Divine One. I would be honored to accept this ring. <laughs> You've made me so very happy. I've always wanted to be someone you could rely on and let spoil you a little. Somehow I think you ended up being the one supporting me, Divine Dragon. You have become my family. I will cherish you, and I swear to never leave your side again. Madeline, you're up pretty late. Divine One, hello. Yes, I was having trouble sleeping. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is there something on your mind? Not to pry at all, but if I'm feeling upset, I find it helps to get it off my chest. Yes, I suppose you're right. You see, I can't stop thinking about Mavir. The one from my world, that is. Oh, right. It's not that I regret coming here. I don't. But I can't help but feel like I failed him. I wish I had noticed the warp staff sooner. I wish I had been stronger. Maybe then he'd still be alive. Living here with all of us. <sighs> These are the thoughts that plague me at night when I'm trying to sleep. Madeline. I'm sorry. <sighs> Ignore me. I know it's unproductive to think such things. Maybe so. But I know how you feel. I have regrets about what happened to my mother. The more I try to stop those thoughts, the more forcefully they come rushing in. It's okay, though. When you're having a hard time, you can come talk to me. I appreciate the gesture, but this is hardly as simple as inviting you to spar with me. You're the Divine Dragon, and I'm a knight. I can't ask you to share my burdens. Perhaps you'd feel differently if you weren't just a knight, but my knight. But pardon I'm sorry. It seems abrupt, I know. But I've actually been considering it for some time. You're diligent, brave, dependable. Who better to serve as my right hand? And this way, I'll be better able to support you as well. So please, take this. The Pact Ring? But Divine One... I know that Mavir will always be special to you. I don't want that to change. Your loyalty to him is enduring, and I would never ask you to lose hold of that. I'm giving you this ring to show that you're as important to me as he is to you. Oh, I can't begin to express how happy this all makes me feel, but can I really accept this offer? Only you can answer that question. <laughs> you're right. Mavir said that he wanted me to be happy. If he's watching over me right now, I'm sure he will accept whatever choice I make. And so, Divine One, yes, I will accept this ring and serve as your knight. Thank you, Madeline. Together, we can face the future without fear. Yes. And I promise to be a knight worthy of this honor. To grow ever stronger, that I may protect you and ensure long, happy lives for us both. <laughs>